So this is when the theory becomes practice. It should work, fingers crossed. Oh yeah. And then to put it into bed, you just pull it like that. Down it goes. A little bit easier mechanism than we had last time. Easy. If you want to get underneath the seat, you can lift it up like this. You can flip it all the way over if you wanted to. And then this. Back. To there. It's loose right now because I didn't know where this was going to land exactly. I didn't want to do it according to the CAD file because sometimes real life adjustments can change the location. Now you're tightening it up? Well, I'm going to mark out the drill holes. Oh, I see. I want to finish the other side first so they yeah. can both be sitting in. That's a little more slope like you wanted out of yep. it. Yep. I'm happy with how that turned out. One thing I do want to test is when you sit in it and you lean back on this. Yeah, is that gonna? Is it gonna have a tendency to lift up? But I think your weight on here will anchor it enough that everything will be yeah. stable. Yeah. One thing you won't be able to do is push off the back of this without having weight. Right. All righty. On, on the next one. Oh yeah, one sec. So you want to talk about that a second or no? Uh, sure. Okay, you're on right now. So our challenge here is that these heads are both too tall just because I've built this so close together and that was intentional. I was planning on using a smaller bolt but I didn't have the right drill size for the hole to match the bolt so I went with half inch. But now I have to grind these heads off so that they don't collide when they come together. So I have to take about half of each head off. Well, they aren't the prettiest grinds, but they give the space in between. I'll probably have to cap them with something because they do have some sharper edges. Um, I'll go after it with a file uh, just to smooth those out a little bit, but uh, now there's lots of room in between there for the, the seats to do their thing.
This is a gasket. I decided to give a try this time too. Slides in Hold there. Hold on, like let me get a. This goes into the groove in the 8020 and creates a seal. Like it, it slides in or pushes in like so, creating like a rubber seal there. So I'm gonna put a few like underneath these points here. Uh, what I wanna do is cut and then place. And yeah, it just pushes in easy. Essentially, is this kind of replicating what we did with the uh, felt last time? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Although this probably won't stick as good as the felt, but I don't know. We'll hmm. find out. About twenty or thirty bucks for that length, so. I figured why not give it a try. And now I want to put a length of it. In here. Keep the seat from rattling as we rumble down the road. Like so, and then when this folds up, it sits on that. Uh, do this one really quick, just so I can show it. Oh, I see. Hold on one sec, though. Hang on. Yeah. So at this point, we're going to move everything inside the van. You can see there's the big pocket where the bed slash seat mechanism goes. We're going to fit it in, kind of do a dry run. And then if everything is good, we are going to essentially connect this frame to that frame so that it can't go anywhere once it's in. Those ends on, on the legs right now? Or? Uh, yeah, but we don't. Um, I think we'll use the other ones that we ordered. Right. Perfect. There it is, and it's our final bed at one inch past that. Inch past? Yeah. Okay. 71 and 5 eighths. Which is how many? It'll actually be 71 and a half when we connect those together, but yeah, that's just under six feet. Half inch under six feet. Okay. Same I, usually, as our last bed. I usually sleep with my feet either curled up or my feet off the bed anyway. Dangling, yeah. And then that gives us 16 inches, so oh yeah, we'll easily fit the fold out toilet right here. Unless you put it there like you were saying. Oh, unless we build it into this. Yeah. Yeah, that one would take some thinking. And once that has everything on it, you can totally just take. I better not step on there until we have those pads on. But there we go. Strong like bull. It's not that comfortable to lay down on right now, but <laughs> yeah. And then to seat. So, and like so. Yeah, those seats look much more comfortable than the last Oh, go get the wood panels. Where are they? Uh, right there in the garage. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we'll put the wood panels on and then have a seat and see how it feels. Like 
so, and then I'll just show really quickly. This is how it would look if you turn it into a bed. Like that, and then move it back. Just move it back like. Supposed to be attached so they won't get caught like that. And then sitting, just be gentle. Yeah. Until the foam is on, the weight distribution is pretty skewed. Yeah, <laughs> that is the cat's ass right there. I made this longer this time so it comes up more underneath your knees. It's not as short. So on long drives you can rest your legs and yeah. put your legs down. Is the fridge too close? It's fine. Like if I'm stretching them out. Is this going to be covered right here? Yes. Okay, yeah. So then you get to, so whoever sits there will have to go like this or just go like this. Yeah. Or. Kick them up onto the fridge. Yeah. Feet on the fridge. Everybody loves that. But it'll be good for us too. For lounging. Yep. Cool. There's a crack. I better get up. Quarter inch plywood is on the very thin side for taking weight over this size of a space. But once you put, we're putting five inches of foam, even four or three inches of foam. Once that's on it, it spreads the weight out even more. So you don't have the, the pointed, like my Badass. ass bones. They push, like they, uh, your, your weight goes all onto two points. If you have more to spread that out, whether that's muscle or fat, that would probably help. But the foam on here totally spreads it out from like being on one point to being over like six inches, seven inches. Um, so it makes a huge difference. Um, so right now they're probably on the edge of not being enough. As soon as the foam is on there, it'll spread the weight out. It becomes more than enough. Worst case, it's easy to add another bar in here, but we wanted to keep it as light as possible. So we skipped that. I am excited because this means we're ready for upholstery and for finishing with the cabinetry stuff. Um, yeah, you're on. So what we plan to do are to have two drawers, but this panel here will also lift up so we can get into it from even from inside, we can flip this all the way up and reach in. We are always in our van in the winter time. That's like six months of our year. So we don't always want to have to get out, open the hatch, do stuff in the back only to let all of our heat out and make it freezing cold inside.